hi everyone good day great day to you wherever you are so this particular video i'm dedicating it to young aspiring artists independent artists that are actually doing music that either you are in a phase of trying to release new music or you are in the phase of trying to make new music i'm just putting this out here probably once in a while we'll be doing this just to you know people ask you for help as regards some of these things and the kind of help they ask for is either for you to come and sign them without even thinking about all the wala that all the signing thing is causing to people so in my head i feel like okay let me just share this some of these old tricks that i think has worked over the years and i think they are still working some people know about them but a lot of people don't pay attention to them now i was actually doing this particular video on ig live that the internet messed up and i said let me just record and put it here so number one you need to understand that in the music space there is the business of music then there, the, there's the music business the music business has to do with the exploitation of what you create then the business of music has to do with you creating the music okay let me first talk about creating the music which before because you don't have so much budget and you need to be more intentional about what you are going to what you are going to do because all the stuff that i'm going to discuss now if you are intentional with the music business i mean with the business of music that is creating the music to know and uh, to have at the back of your mind the business part of exploiting the music it will go a long way to actually ease your budget and also give you a focus on how you actually do this thing while preparing to do a song that you want to push or you want to have in the mainstream pay attention to some of these things over the years I've, I've made music that have become it and i can tell you that this thing over the years they have worked i'm not telling you theories i'm telling you things that have worked and i've also noticed about a whole lot of other it songs too number one simplicity keep your message simple keep the words in the song simple keep the everything about the story the vibe keep it simple don't make it too complicated people don't have the time to start to unravel mysteries around music they just want to learn they want to group they want to vibe to it so keep it simple that once it gets to them they can easily use now when i say keep it simple i'm not saying that you should keep it mediocre i'm not saying that you should do something that is not excellent no i'm saying that even to make it excellence means that you are doing something that is so, you are doing it so well yet people can actually use it people can which is where simplicity actually comes in so when i say do it simply i'm not saying that you should do it mediocrely no do it well and do it good but make sure that people can easily use it simplicity is not a mistake by the way it is when you don't understand a thing that you will be spending a long time to explain it or you want to make it over complicated and depth is not complication depth is actually you being able to explain what is supposed to be hard making it simple for people to understand remember keep it simple part two the second part to it is make sure that in all that you are doing make sure that the song is familiar how do i make family i'm not saying that you go and lift other people's melody or lift what other people have said but make sure that the vibe the melody structure the harmony structure of that song is actually familiar to people creativity at the end of the day is not you creating something out of nothing no it's actually you creating something new from what already exists so there is a way that what already exists is in your song that people can feel the vibe but they can't really trace where it's coming from which is why every time you hear me define creativity i say is the ability is the gift of being able to hide your source that is where you are stealing from <laughs> <laughs> where you are stealing from so you need to make sure that it's familiar people can hear ah, i like this they might not even be saying it but their mind just tell them that this thing sounds familiar and it takes their attention and once their attention is drawn to that particular song in the bit of looking for where it's coming from they get stuck to the song they get stuck to the simple melody the simple lyrics and all of those things that you have put into it so learn the art of familiarization number three learn also the art of simplifying your melody structure your melody structure should not be complicated your melody structure should be in such ways that i tell people that the best way i test my melody structure is if i remove the beat will people still vibe to the melody imagine if i remove the kick the snare all of those no guitar nothing i remove it and just you singing will it still sound good if it sound good like that trust me it will become a hit song if you do the proper thing when it gets to the place of marketing which i will talk about too. so that is a great song and sometimes too i test it with just you know a simple guitar playing by the background or a simple 
the piano, just playing chords, no, not too complicated, and you are still putting the same melody on. Uh, the melody structure on it and it's sounding nice it will go a long way and it will be very fine that is three then number four which is like always like the first one that i mentioned all of this make sure that you're also applying repetition it's not every song that needs repetition but i can tell you that repetition works like magic repetition works like magic i was talking to one of my very own uh, s keys the producer that most of you know we we're talking and we we're talking about the power of repetition this was us after listening to one of my favorite gospel artists right now the person i'm vibing to in the gospel space in terms of worship uh Dunsio Yekon, we were listening to his new uh body of work and we realized how much he was using repetitions there was a particular song seven minutes and it was a repeat because what you repeat over time sticks Go and check it. When they want to tell you to con do confirm uh, to do confession, it's repetition. When Muslims are doing tazbi and they are reciting all of those things, it's repetition. Because over time, what you repeatedly do or you repeatedly recite or you repeatedly see, you will eventually become. So repetition works like fire. If you check it, if there's a particular part of the song that you think is very sweet in melody construction, make it a major. A message of the song and keep repeating it over time even if people don't know the whole of the song they will know that particular part that you are repeating don't be all don't be in a rush always to leave that particular thing if it is sweet it will stick now let me go to what actually is bringing me to do this video which is the part of some of the old tricks that can help your song to actually stick in the mind of people when you create your song when you are promoting Number one, I'm going to tell you too. Number one, use karaoke. If people can use your music for karaoke, it will run far. It will go far. Let people be able to use your song for karaoke. So when you are creating your mix down, create the karaoke part and get somebody to actually help you. Either a graphic artist, the motion graphic artist that can help you to create the karaoke for you so that when people go for party, you know, when people are the ones singing your song, they feel like they feel like you. They feel like the superstar that you are. And this way, it makes them feel better. It gives them this feel good their feeling that will make them to always want to come back to that song so use karaoke it's an old trick and i think it still works now because people still do karaoke now people still do karaoke in their house some people want to sing your song without you having on it probably if somebody wants to perform the song outside they want to sing it to a crowd they don't want your voice on it but they want to hear themselves on it so create a karaoke type of you understand mix so that people can actually sing on your song if you don't know what karaoke is, probably you should go online and check out how they actually do that. It's just you can leave the mel you can leave the chorus of the song on it, leave some of the backup uh, backup vocals, you know, the BGVs, leave them, remove the lead, then you create that, then give a motion graphic guys to do the lyrics, let them see the lyrics and all of those things, and that works fire. It works magic when you are promoting. Now we are in the era of where promotion has a lot to do more with content, which is the second thing I'm going to say. Create when you start to create your music, think about the challenge that you want to put on the song. Think about how you want people to vibe to it. Think about the kind of videos you will do on TikTok. Think about the kind of videos that you are going to release on IG when you are recreating the song. Let the message have a story in your mind that you want to tell. Because right now you are not, we are living the era of I will just drop on beautiful music video and I will just leave it to that. No. The, all the algorithms that are working, I want you to keep doing more content videos, more to be more intentional about it. So before you just create a song out of I'm just vibing, make sure that your vibe, make sure that all of those things that you are trying to do, you have a way to actually create challenge challenges are uh, whatever they call it challenge uh, you know those was ig challenge those tiktok challenge that can be created on those things those you know in your head you are thinking also like a script writer and you create the song in such a way that in your head you are imagining okay if people are going to dance bang 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 to you that is to say in the beats there should be that bang 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 you create a dance you create a challenge you create something that people can vibe to beyond the song kiss daniel is a perfect example kiss daniel is one of the 
one of the very good guys when it comes to making it songs that I know in Nigeria. If you check nowadays, Chris, Daniel does not just create music. It comes with the music, the dance, and some other vibes that you have to put to that. And that goes with the likes of Olamide. That goes with all of them. Shakiti Bobo became, you understand. Uh, 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 what is this one that uh, that uh, Liu Kesh did? You're there, Shocky. And all of those things. You also think those ways. Those are old tricks that I think they still work. That as you are creating your song, from when you are creating, you are also thinking about how you are going to push it. The kind of content that you are going to do then. If you do this to karaoke and you're also intentional about the challenges that you are going to put around these things, they are old tricks that people are still using and they are still working. I think if you think about this too, it will reduce your budget when it comes to promotion and marketing. And I think it will go a long way to help you. I know this video is long, but just take your time to watch it. Just take your time to watch it and stay blessed. Thank you.